you folks, Creepy Kentucky in here with you again from deadpit.com. Roxy's back there. She's happy to be back. She's acting all wild today. All right. But uh wanted to get this video in because this is a great new company that's out there that's doing vinyl records. We do a lot of videos on records and stuff like that here. I did want to do a little bit of a showcase on this release because it's also on compact disc baby we're talking about the original soundtrack music by mark fox it is texas chainsaw massacre the shocking truth now anybody that knows much about soundtracks vinyl records and all that would know the original texas chainsaw massacre soundtrack never been officially released. A lot of people seem to think that that soundtrack itself, which was done by Toby Hooper, is missing. I think a buddy of mine said that it may have been just made on the film, laid to the film itself. Who knows if we'll ever get that? I don't know, who's to say? This soundtrack, much like the original soundtrack, is not music you dance to, boss. It's not anything. Hey. You don't dance to this music. You don't dance to this music, Roxy. You really don't. This cat needs a lot of attention, folks, just real quick here, because I've been out of town for about a week. We had this cute little girl boarded up, so she wants as much attention as possible and is excited to be back and raising pure hell here at the Dead Pit Studios. But anyway... The Shocking Truth is out now. You can go to the new the new company, by the way. And I believe we're going to be having this guy on a podcast here shortly. The guy, um, Sean Wheeler, one of the, I think, co-owners of Scare Flare Records. And that's the company we're talking about today. They have some really cool stuff, guys. Lady in White, which a lot of people know, that's one of my favorite films. Uh, definitely to watch around this time of year, around the Halloween season. So they got that one out. They have the vinyl version of this, which is coming out. Um, and it looks really cool. It's actually the color of Marilyn Burns' eyes. Right, so that's very cool, which is featured quite a bit in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And this one here is music from the Shocking Truth documentary. It's a documentary that David Gregory from Severn Films did almost, what, it would have been 22 years ago? So it's one of the original documentaries on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Features a lot of people in it that no one else got to talk to. Jim Cedell was still around at the time. Bob Burns. Um, so in between some of the interview segments and stuff, this music was played. Mark Fox, he kind of recreated, it seemed like, that crazed industrial sound. Again, not music you dance to. It would be very creepy to include this in your haunted houses and everything coming up. Um, but it's very, very well done. If I didn't really know any better, I would think it was actually from the original movie. It's, you know, it's how well it's done. So, yeah, that is the shocking truth. The music itself, like I said, sounded great. Uh, this is on CD, this version of the soundtrack. And uh, it looks really cool. The CD quality is good and everything. And I like how they did the film reel there for the death itself. This one is out now. You can get it on their website, scareflare.com. Check it out. Really cool packaging. And I love how they did everything here. Check them out, guys. They got a lot of great stuff coming up. I do believe that they're working on a George Romero movie that I love the soundtrack to, Night Riders. I think that's one that's coming up soon as well. So we'll have him on the show here coming up in the next little bit. If you're into this sort of thing, if you have any requests for soundtracks, which 
oddly enough, I do. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, check them out, guys, and check us out over at deadpitch.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Before this video officially ends, Oh Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now. You've got some new shirts like the Oh Curly Jaws official t-shirt, which is brutal and badass. You got the Gummy Gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt. The people, you got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the Final Girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at Chop dot deadpit.com get them before they're all out especially the new one bedtime 1039 it doesn't get better than that so go on out check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com go look at their team public store you're gonna have a good old time get them all thank you to all of our supporters on patreon dead pit on patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.